Hey, good, good evening. I'm Mark Gordon, and welcome to tech to earnings Today, Match Group, the parent company of popular dating apps like Tinder and Hinge, released its first quarter earnings report, revealing some intriguing trends in the dating app landscape. In the report, it was disclosed that Tinder, a long-standing favorite among dating app users, experienced a decline in its paying user base for the sixth consecutive quarter. Conversely, Hinge, another dating app under Match Group's umbrella, witnessed a surge in members willing to invest in the app. Specifically, Tinder reported a decrease to 10 million paying users in Q1 of 2024, marking a 9% drop compared to the previous year. Meanwhile, Hinge boasted a significant increase to 1.4 million paying users, reflecting a noteworthy 31% surge year over year. This shift in user engagement between Tinder and Hinge reflects broader changes in dating app preferences, particularly among younger demographics. While Tinder has historically been associated with casual hookups, there's been a notable trend towards more serious, long-term relationships, a niche that Hinge has effectively capitalized on. During a conference call with investors, Match Group CEO Bernard Kim expressed optimism about Hing's trajectory, projecting it to evolve into a billion-dollar revenue business. Hing's direct revenue for Q1 surged to $124 million, marking a substantial 50% increase from the previous year and contributing to its impressive $396 million revenue in 2023 alone. However, Tinder faces challenges in retaining its paying user base, particularly in promoting its a lock heart features or in-app purchases, such as super likes and boosts. Despite accounting for 20% of Tinder's direct revenue, a Lockhart revenue experienced a 13% decline in Q1 2024. Hey, who indicative of a broader downward trend? Match Group CFO Gary Swidler acknowledged the challenges faced by Tinder, attributing the decline in a Lockhart revenue to various factors, including weaker consumer spending among its younger user base. Despite these setbacks, Match Group remains committed to enhancing Tinder's offering by introducing new A-Law Cart features at accessible price points. In contrast to Tinder's diverse A-Law Cart options, Hinge offers a more streamlined approach with only two features, boosts and roses. This simplicity could be a contributing factor to Hing's success in attracting and retaining paying users. Tinder has also made efforts to improve user experience and safety, introducing features like Share My Date for sharing date plans with friends and implementing a requirement for face photos in profiles. Additionally, the app will soon launch an AI photo selector feature to enhance profile quality. As Match Group navigates the evolving dating app landscape, the performance of Tinder and Hinge will continue to be closely monitored, with expectations of potential improvements in the coming quarters. Stay tuned to Tech to Earnings for further updates on this developing story.